What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I want to talk about a game that I didn't expect to be as excited about as I am. Today we're going to be talking about Carrier Command 2. Now, this is a game that just happens to be published by the same publisher of our game, Operation Harsh Doorstop, but I am not on the development team for this at all. I think it's a genuinely incredible concept, and I want to talk to you about it. Now, Carrier Command 2 is a naval simulation game, probably similar to something like Digital Combat Simulator. Except, this time, instead of simulating a single aircraft, you get to command an entire aircraft carrier. And you might be thinking, oh, well, do you only get to walk around on the bridge? Do you only get to do a limited number of things? No, you can actually go throughout the entire carrier and you can even go outside of the carrier, walking on the islands that you capture, or even boarding enemy ships. This is actually on the same game engine as Stormworks. So for any of you that has actually played Stormworks, basically anything that you can do in Stormworks, you can do in this game. But instead of being about fighting fires and rescuing people, you are commanding a military grade futuristic aircraft carrier with all of its weapon systems, aircraft, and ground vehicles at your disposal. This game is epic. It is not just a single player, but it also supports multiplayer as well, which means that something like this could really redefine naval games, or honestly, tactical games in general. This is the kind of thing I've been wanting to see for forever. You have this entire carrier that is completely completely open to you to walk around, to command, to explore, and to utilize in order to capture entire islands. I'm really excited to see where this goes for multiplayer as well. I don't think I've seen a game like this since Battlefield 1942, and this is next tier gameplay. So, if you want to stick around, I've got some great gameplay of me assaulting a couple of islands with my carrier group, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks so much for watching, and remember as always, Blue Drake loves you. If you want to check out the game, links to their Discord server is down below. What's up, everybody? It is a Blue Drake, and today I want to show you a project that I am particularly excited about that I really think is an incredible example of what is possible in the future of video game development. The studio that's making this project is building it on the Stormworks engine, and I absolutely love Stormworks, and I absolutely love what they're doing with this game, and I really wanted to show it off to you guys. So luckily, they gave me a key, and I am gonna show you why Carrier Command 2 is really cool. Now, a lot of people have asked who have seen footage of this game, they're like, oh, but is this a game where you can only walk around in the cockpit? No. And this is what is really, really cool about this project. You can actually not only go everywhere that you want to go on the carrier. You know, there's all sorts of different parts of the carrier from escape pods to loading bays to really anything that you would expect on a ship of this size. But you can also walk off of the carrier and go onto the islands and visit the different parts of the world that you dock to with your carrier, maybe even boarding enemy carriers in order to sabotage them. I mean, this is only the beginning. There's going to be so many more updates to this that are going to open up so many more possibilities. But as of right now, it's just like Stormworks. So if you could go onto islands in Stormworks or fly around in Stormworks, you can do that here, but you can also have these mega carriers and I mean kind of carrier destroyers since they also come with a full complement of advanced weapon systems as well as tanks and drones both attack aircraft helicopters everything that you can command and control it is absolutely awesome 
So, we are going to go ahead and attack some of these enemy-held islands. There are a number of islands that you have to capture that you can utilize the resources of in order to build more equipment or build more aircraft, tanks, weapon systems. I mean, you name it, you can build it. And you can capture resources, capture factories, and build your armada that you can utilize to destroy the enemy. So as you can see, we actually have all of these different types of aircraft and weapon systems. Some of them are helicopters, some of them are tanks, and we can load them out with all sorts of different munitions uh, and weapons, as well as utilizing the weapon systems that are on board the carrier itself. So here is our carrier. We're going to be attacking this island first. As you can see, there is an enemy base and we can attack this any way we want. We can launch a full ground invasion. We can launch aerial ships in order to do bombings. I mean, the way that you accomplish these objectives are completely open. So let's go ahead and let's launch one of our stealth looking bombers and use that to get an idea of the situation we're dealing with. So we're gonna deploy this. And the cool thing about this is all of this is 100% real. So we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna go down to floor one and we're actually going to watch the carrier deploy this aircraft in real time. All of this is real. All of this is actually functional. So when you press a button on the ship, it's not just, you know, magically launching one of your drones. There is actually an entire process, an automated system for launching these drones, getting them up to the launch deck. This is, this is the real deal. I mean, this is just like Stormworks, but on a whole nother scale, this game gets me so excited. All right, let's go back up to the main deck. Here is our stealth bomber coming up to the launch deck. And we're gonna go ahead and get ready to catapult this off the front of the carrier and then we're going to use that in order to scout out this island that we're going to be launching a ground invasion on another thing that's really cool that you all may not know about yet is this game is also multiplayer so you can actually have multiple people on the same carrier operating it or i mean you can have all sorts of other things there it goes that's so sick okay so now that's up in the air let's go ahead we've got our manta and we're going to access this drone. All right, so here we are connected to the Manta. We have all of our different weapon systems that we can utilize. Let's go ahead and activate the gimbal camera. We can actually use this in order to scout out the island that we are going to be attacking. All right, so here we go. Currently, I don't see any ground vehicles. I just see buildings and some structures. All right, we're gonna assume a holding pattern here. And we're gonna send in our ground tanks to attack this island. Okay. Looks like we do have some kind of naval craft. We're gonna identify this. This is either some kind of weapon platform or it's like a barge. But either way, this is something that we should absolutely be taking out. All right, let's track this missile while it is inbound. There we go. Boom! Target destroyed. That's what I'm talking about. Okay. Looks like our ground troops are still en route to this island, which hopefully we will be capturing shortly. All right, let's move in and attack this next objective. Looks like we have a torpedo in the water. Oh no, it's gonna hit us. Oh no. Okay, torpedo just hit. Let's take a look at the damage. All right, it looks like we uh, had our main hull get hit. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start attempting to repair that. Likely what happened is the other ship got a torpedo off before we were able to intercept it. So, not a mistake we wanna make twice. Locking target. Missile away. Missile incoming. Boom. Boom. Target destroyed. Okay. 
Let's go ahead and have our two albatrosses take evasive maneuvers. Looks like we have two ground targets moving towards our carrier, which means this second albatross is gonna have to engage. But I think we are actually in close enough range where we might be able to engage some of these air assets ourselves, because if we don't, they're gonna start engaging us. So let's go ahead and let's do that. All right, target is locked. Missile away. Second missile away. Oh man, this is crazy. Okay, let's see if this is, hits. That might be one missile that missed. Yep, one miss. Second missile tracking. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Boom, splash. All right. One target down. We might be clear. I'm not sure where the other Manta fighter is. So we're going to command our second Manta. And we're going to scout for enemy targets. Okay, the cool thing about this is that we can actually utilize our aircraft here to call in remote strikes using our carrier weapon. So we're going to go ahead and we're actually going to begin engaging... All right, so we're gonna set up with our carrier gun. There we go, now we've got some targets. All right, rounds are out. Boom! <laughs> That's so sick. Awesome. Okay, ground targets clear. Mission successful, return to base. So, this is Carrier Command 2. I mean, this is just the beginning as well. We're just playing in single player. This is a whole new genre of game where you have full control over these massive ships and you can also control everything from the logistics to all of the aircraft that you deploy, fighting not just ground targets, but air targets, other naval targets, taking torpedoes, taking missiles, countermeasures, like it's, it's everything that you would want in a naval combat game and more. So if you want to check this out, check the link down in the description. You can go join the official Microprose Discord. And besides that, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. And remember, as always, Blue Drake loves you. Cheers.